All right, so currently in Ionic 4, we have two ways to add native features to our Ionic project. Uh, the, by using the same old Cordova version or the new capacitor uh, projects. So how do, we, how do we add Cordova or how do we add uh, capacitor? In this lesson, we are going to take a look at how to add capacitor to our Ionic 4 project. It's easy, you just type Ionic uh, capacitor add Android and you should uh, be able to integrate our blank Ionic uh, project with capacitor. So uh, it first uh, integrates it to try and create some files, uh, update some files, uh, install the necessary, necessary uh, NPM uh, modules. So it's installing the capacitor core. This is it's installing the CLI as well. Uh, and also it's uh, after installing the CLI, it will use the capacitor that it installed to init um, a project. So inside the Ionic, uh, sorry, yeah, inside the Ionic config, the JSON file, we see a capacitor integration here. Um, the capacitor config too has the App ID which we can change and here too we can change the app name as well and we can also define the web uh, DRL where, where it should build or the, the directory should use uh, to create the project uh, where our HTML and CSS will be um, yeah and inside the package.json it has installed the capacitor android CLI the core since we said we wanted the android all right so here it's added the android capacitor and android then um, now you can see there was an error so the capacitor could not find the web assets inside the www which has been defined here yeah, because I have not built my project yet to create a WW folder, so it gave me this. So it's nothing. You can uh, build it and uh, later uh, run it for it to work. So um, yeah, it tells us that first add a platform if uh, we already uh, initialize our project with a capacitor. So we can uh, do Android, iOS, and Electron. That's a desktop uh, version. So let's take a look at Ionic Capacitor. And uh, we have a couple of uh, commands here. We have the uh, add, which as a platform. We have the copy, which will copy our web assets to Capacitor. Uh, we have the open, which will open uh, an ID for us. Uh, and uh, run, which copies web assets to each capacitor platform sync uh, and also update so let's try to do the copy uh, so i am a capacitor copy and let's see here we are being told that uh, so that's the 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 um uh, the uh the command is run here which got the error. So first thing before that, let's do a uh, build. It should build our app using Angular. And after building it to the WW folder, uh, we can then use the capacitor copy to copy the file to uh, our Android directory here, which is a uh, Android Studio project. And then we will use the open command to open uh, this project in Android Studio. So, well, it's finished building. Now we have the WW directory.
directory here. So now let's do ionic capacitor copy, which will copy, and that's it. It's done. And open. So capacitor. And we have been asked to switch on with a Android. And that's it. Then open our Android project, which is located here. We type this one uh, in Android Studio. So now that it's done opening our uh, project, uh, yeah, it's opened it in uh, Android Studio. So here we can do other stuff. And this is in offline mode. So we should sync uh, with uh, Gradle, and uh, we should potentially finish building. And we can just run a project, we can just run our project in our emulator or our uh, device. Now, when we go back, uh, yeah. So it's, it's very simple to work with capacity after you've uh, done your stuff in the app uh, homepage or whatever. If other capacitor functionalities, if you want to uh, sync uh, with the Android project uh, here, you just type Ionic Capacitor Sync, and then it will sync. Uh, when we check the command here, it says it syncs your capacitor project. If you wanted to perform a copy followed by an update, Yes, so this is a very nice uh, feature added to the uh, command line for us. So, whenever you change, you want to make the same, you can run it here, and it should, it should work. So, that's how easy it is to um, add the uh, capacitor to your Ionic 4 project. Uh, if you have a question, ask in the comment section below. And if not all, you can have any in the comment uh, area. Subscribe to the channel for more videos on Ionic and other videos. See you in the next lesson.